Well, it's fall here and it's definitely time to start thinking about closing off the garden for another really great year here on the homestead. Still a lot of work to do with collecting leaves, getting firewood ready for this winter, but right now we're talking butternut squash, my favorite crop to grow and we had an excellent crop this year. Grab a table, grab your shears, maybe some help if you have it. Let's get down in the garden and have a good experience collecting a bountiful crop this year which I'll show you and talk to you all about. Many of our squash were grown on small raised beds and trellised up cattle panel arched trellises. This morning we woke up to a hard frost, which means all our remaining crops have died. This includes our sweet potatoes. I'll be harvesting those in the next video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. We grow squash for three reasons. Reason number one is to simply feed our growing family. They are a healthy crop and excellent for young children. These squash will be a large part of our daughter's diet. We have a six month old daughter who's just starting to eat food and this is a great way to introduce children to eating food. Reason number two is because they last a long time. These butternuts can last for a year if they're stored properly. Most crops do not last this long unless they're canned, frozen, or dehydrated. The third reason is because they're really good to eat. My favorite way to eat them is by cutting them in half, putting them in the oven, and heating them up until the flesh inside is soft. Once it's soft, scoop out the flesh, place into a blender with avocados, onions, garlic, and chicken broth. Blend it all together to the consistency you want. This makes a great chip dip, but it's also really good to eat with garlic bread. After you've blended everything, feel free to place it into a freezer bag if you'd like to eat them later on. Taking these off with a little shears isn't really that hard. I should probably use something that's got a little bit more strength, but it seems to work just fine. The stems are very hard on these. Some of them are brown, some of them are still green, but since we got our last frost, we do need to take them inside. Otherwise, we're asking for trouble. As I'm going around, you'll probably notice that there's a wide variety of sizes. You can see that right here in this bushel basket. We've got small, medium, and large. When you have an organic garden like we do, Size usually isn't really an issue. You're just going to have the variety. It's not like you see at the store. If you've watched any of my harvest videos before, you probably noticed that I like to take all my harvest of a particular crop, set it on a table, spread everything out, and make sure it's nice and organized. It's a lot easier for me to deal with and see what we're working with. It's easy to count how many of each crop that we have. It also makes for a really nice picture after the final harvest. We still have many more squash to harvest here. You'll see later on in the video how big the squash have gotten in the garden. These ones are pretty big, but the big ones are still yet to come. We have many trellises that these squash have been growing on. Some are arch trellises, as you can see here, and some are trellises that I created with the trees that I have on my property. It's a great use of a natural resource, and it didn't cost any money. Those are coming up in a little bit. If you're going to grow butternut squash, I recommend using them on a trellis. Some people like growing them on the ground. It just seems like they do much better when they have airflow and they're also much easier to harvest and to find. We also had zero bug problems with our squash this year, so that probably had something to do with it. I just use twine and I tie little knots around them and that seems to be enough to hold them up where they need to go on the trellis. This is my favorite raised bed and trellis in the garden. It's a four by 18 raised bed with teepee structures that I collected all around my yard and in the woods. It's just tree limbs and small trees around the property that I've repurposed. I've connected them with twine on the top and I put many butternut squash in here. Some of them made it out onto the ground. There just wasn't enough space in the raised bed. I had potatoes in there, onions growing, indeterminate tomatoes and it was just one of those beds that had everything going on it looked like a jungle so it looks a lot different now than it did certainly back in peak ripeness when things were really green and growing in the garden of course we have to give some things to the chickens they love that all of our garden waste goes in the chickens to be made to compost for the next garden season
And as I stated earlier, this is my favorite area of the garden. It was just a beautiful thing to see. It was very inexpensive and highly productive at the same time. I try to take off all of the young squash that won't make it to maturity before the frost. Sometimes I miss a few of them. That's just kind of how it goes when it's so bountiful and abundant in one area where it's just hard to see really what you're working with. I'll have to keep an eye on this squash. I'm not really sure what that is on there. This is another bushel basket full of squash. So I'm gonna load that up on the table just like I did before. These are medium sized squash, I would say. The big ones are still yet to come. Now these are the big squash. There are three squash we had, maybe four, that were just huge. You'll see in just a minute how big this is in comparison to a regular squash, maybe one that you would purchase at the store. So the one on the left is an average size squash. You can see it next to my hand. The one on my right is huge. We had three or four of those huge squash, which is a nice thing to have. All of these squash are Waltham butternut squash purchased from migardener.com. We ended up with 37 squash. Best year we've had so far. Look at this comparison between the garden now and just a month ago. Flowers, green, lush garden. Now the season's come to an end. These are the sweet potato vines from my sweet potatoes on a teepee structure that will be harvested in the next video. Stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching.